In today's video, I'm going to teach you a quick tip to make your passing better, get the ball out quicker, and avoid the sack. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help people get better at Madden. Now, I do this through a variety of different tips and strategies and tactics and tips for you guys, but the best way that you can get better at Madden, personally, in my opinion, the best way you can get better at Madden is simply through joining our Discord server because that's going to give you access to not only me, but it's also going to give you a lot of access to people that you can practice with, that you can play with, that can help you improve in this game. So you can click the link below or you can just shoot me a text at the top left. My number's at the top left of the screen. It's also in the description of today's video. And you can get a link to join the Discord. We'd love to have you there. Now, when I've been running spread, and I, right now I'm just testing out a couple different playbooks here, but I've been running spread, and one of the issues that I have is that when the defense blitzes me, and we'll just do um, we'll just do a zone blitz, 3D, random random zone blitz, right? Um, when the defense blitzes me, what's been a little bit of an issue is you'll see it when snap the ball, I'm gonna drop back, and then it takes like five, it, he takes like three steps. He takes like three steps. So the issue is, and you can see at the top right of the controller cam, that's something new. So you can see the buttons that I'm pushing when I'm pushing them. And that's I'm hope, hoping that that will help you guys get a little bit better at understanding how to use the controller. So it, with this method right here, you're going to see he's going to be able to get out, of this, get out of the animation. Madden has always been a game of animations. It really has been. And so if I just, you'll see that a lot. A lot of people will do that. They'll drop back, 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 back. And I'm guilty of this too. We're all guilty of it. And what happens is because we don't have the pocket, we're just going to drop back, 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 back. And now one sack turns it to a 10 to 15 yard loss, right? So what I want to do today is help you kind of understand a little bit about the pocket and a quick, simple tip that you can do to affect this. It's going to sound really easy. <laughs> But it's really critical in my opinion. And it's going to take some time to practice because you're going to get to need to get used to the mechanics. So left trigger we know is the precision modifier. This button right here is the precision modifier. LB allows us to high point it. L2 allows us to low ball it. But L2 in general is the precision modifier. At the snap of the ball, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold L2. It's going to give me more control over my quarterback. I'm just going to hold it for a second, and then I'm going to release it. If you hold it and move, you're going to run. So I'm just going to hold it for just a second. And then what I'm going to do is you're going to see I'm going to hold my, my right stick to whichever side I want to move. If I want to move to the left, I'm going to hold it to the left. If I'm going to move to the right, I'm going to hold it to the right. But that's the key. You want to hold it whichever side you want to go. And typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it to the side where I have the best bash protection. So like here, I'm going to double team this guy on the left. And then I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do the left. So check out the controller cam. And you'll see there I wasn't able to get the timing down. And he does that standard auto drop back. Now, if he does do the drop back like that, what I want you to do, if you're in a situation like that, just hold up on the left stick and step up. If you do that, even if you take a sack, you're going to only lose like a yard. Okay. But you'll see right here. See how he moves like that? And that's a very, very simple thing. All I'm doing, all I'm doing is holding the left stick to the right. And as soon as I get him to move, I've got to let go of it. He moves, I let go. And now I can make a read. Do you see how simple that is? Now again, it's you want to start out, hold it, and then you go. And that's gonna, and you're just gonna slide up into the pocket, and now you're able to get out of the ball, out of the pocket pretty quickly. Okay. Now let me show you some blitzes. I don't know if I, I think I just did random defensive play here, but let me show you why this is important on on blitzes and things like that, especially from like a five wide. You know, if you're doing something like this formation right here, and we're just doing random blitzes, right? So he's gonna send pressure. Well, if you're dropping back. It takes a long time to get the ball out. And you see, I almost took a sack, even though I had plenty of time in the pocket. But here, you see here, the blitz is coming from the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my team to the right. But I'm going to try to get this guy double teamed. Now I'm going to come this way. And now it's going to allow me to, to step up, make a read. And I miss it, but that's okay. But just simply holding the left stick to that direction is going to help you a lot. And you're going to be able to get the ball out faster. 
right? This has been the best way that I've known, I've seen to do it. Um, somebody taught it to me uh, earlier on in the game, but it's just been a critical thing. And again, it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time to master, and that's why I like Aaron Rodgers because he has the gunslinger ability. He can get the ball out quick. But when you're facing some of the best blitzing defenses in the game, like I feel like I always do, having a good quick game is absolutely essential. And getting getting your animation so that he cancels it is really, really critical here. So you see, I'm just going to go slide to the right, and then I'm going to step up in the pocket. Now, if you're just facing a base rush, when you slide to the right, you don't have to move. One of the things that's tricky is if you're not careful, what you're going to do is you're going to do this. And now you're going to move all over the place, and it's going to be very difficult to get the ball out. What I would suggest you do when you're doing this little tip here is you're going to go right and then stop and then make a read. What that's going to do is it's going to help you because the edge pressures that you're going to face, part of the reason that they come in so hot is because you drop back. But when you're up in the pocket, if you move slide up just a smidge, just a, just a slight slide up, you're going to be more effective. As you can see the controller cam there, I'm literally just just sliding sliding right up in the pocket. So hopefully this quick tip helped you. This is going to help you, I think, top, stop taking some snap, some sacks in this year's game. And this I don't anticipate this going away from next year uh, for Madden 21. But this is just a simple tactic you can use that's always really important to be able to cancel your dropbacks, especially on some of those deeper passing plays that we all love. So if you guys liked this video, if it was helpful to you, send me a text and let me know. My number is at the top left of the screen. I'd love to hear from you. It means the world whenever I get texts from my subscribers saying that I was able to help them with something in the game. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. And if you're looking to get better in Madden or take your game to the next level, check out some of the other videos that I've got for you uh, coming up on the screen right now. And we'll see you guys in the next video.